So, there's some theory. There's uh, end of the world people out. There's people are saying that there's gonna be 15 days of darkness on November 15th. And uh, well, I'm gonna be telling you why that's possible and why it is and why it's most likely not gonna happen. Holy crap! Oh, I see why. But anyway. So let's open up. So they're saying, you know, in the 15 days of darkness. All right. So what I first did is, you know, I typed in 15 days of darkness on Google. And here's what I'm reading is saying NASA confirms that in that we're gonna move through a nebula field and it's gonna block out the sun from uh, it's gonna block out the Earth from the sun. And as I'm reading that, I'm just like, mm, that's first of all. Uh, also, uh, the main the main evidence that this is fake is that this popped up once before in 2015 on the internet. They were saying that this was going to happen. All right. And it never did. And I don't know something about, you know, there being a solar eclipse. Uh not that, you know, a month after it they're going to say, "Oh, yep, now they're not." But anyway. So, I typed up and they so the first evidence was, you know, it happened once before and they said the same thing too that NASA confirmed it that it's going to happen. It came, it didn't happen two years later, 2017, 2 months after a solar eclipse which was which I saw and was very cool. Uh, so that now they're talking about that. And here's a little theory I came up with in my head that if you know about it, if there's an end of the world prophecy, if it if you haven't heard about it uh, until you know a few month weeks ago, and, all right, is that if you first hear about it, uh, and it's going to happen in the very near future, it's probably not going to happen. But if people have known about it for more than fifty years or so, then it, then then there's a higher chance of it. But unless unless it's more than unless you know we've known about that theory. And it's been around for more than 50 years. It's probably it's probably gutter trash. But anyway. So, first of all, the um, the distance between the Earth and the Sun isn't that great. Um, why is this? But um, so. For there to be, for a nebula to pass through that's thick enough to block, and that have to be really thick, because first of all, the only reason why nebulas block as much as they do is they're not thick at all. If you're inside one, you probably won't even be able to notice. You just look out and you'd see this strange color out there. But for a nebula to be um, thick enough to block the Earth from the sun, that's not really far when you're looking at astronomical. I butchered that word. You know, units of distance. It's not that far, and you know, for and if it, and if there was a nebula that thick, and we are going through it, you know, 15 days of darkness would be the least of your worries. Because due to gravity and other forces, um, they, you know, if it was that thick, first of all, there'd probably be tons of meteorites, and maybe even uh, planet-sized objects in there that we'd have to worry about. Because due to gravity, if something's that um, thick enough, uh, and also if you Google, what is the nearest star system or nearest nebula? Um, the nearest nebula is M32, and a light year is how long light travels in a year. Now we've only had machines able to measure stuff like that for like 10 or 20 years. All right, and M32. Is located 20 light years away from us. All right. Now, unless the Earth is moving 
at a speed faster than the uh, at a speed faster than the speed of light, and on top of that, is happens to be moving on a collision course with M32. Even if, yeah, that's not going to happen. And now, for those of you guys saying, "Oh, it's uh, the reason why we haven't detected it," is it's so small that that um that you can't detect it. Well, if it's that thick. We would have noticed it because it would have been blocking out stars and stuff from the out, out. Out, it would have been blocking stuff in the stars that Hubble would have picked up long ago. Also, um, I googled what is the smallest uh, nebula that we have ever found. I forgot what its name was, but it was a tenth of, of light year, and one tenth of a light year. <laughs> It, it would take we it would take more than 15 days to pass through, a, a, a or to move a, a tenth of a light year at the rate that our solar system is moving. It'd take more than 15 days. That'd be really quick. So, and um, another reason is uh, and also even if it does happen. You know, if if it it blocks out the Earth, war, the worst thing that would happen would probably be bombardment from foreign objects floating inside a nebula. Nebula, if it was that thick. But you know, even if it, you know, even if we were in there for like more than ten years, we'd still be fine. We we we've we've had scientists and stuff. We've run uh, simulations on how Earth would fare if. You know, if if the sun just magically disappeared, first of all, mankind would still be there. We'd be fine for for like the first hundred years. Then it would then we'd have to move to um, what's the name of the word? Uh, geothermically active areas like Yellowstone and stuff, because uh, it'd start to get wet to the point where you know the air would uh, liquidify. And you'd have to be in geothermic places like Yellowstone that you'd still be able to breathe. Uh, you, there's a guy called U, uh, Vsauce that you, if you want to know, you know, all the details that, you know, if the sun disappeared, you, you could type in Vsauce. What happened if the Earth disappeared? I mean, if if the sun disappeared, and he goes over, you know, all this stuff. He brings up a cool illustration book that you know talks about a family going to get a pail of um, liquid air and then putting it in their fireplace so they could breathe. And even then, uh, you know, eventually all, all the surface life on Earth would be gone, but there'd still be life on the Earth. That's, there's life on the Earth that's completely independent of our sun. Uh, if you get deep enough into the ocean, uh, there's uh, life down there that survives off of the thermal the energy that comes off of the thermal vents in the earth whoa that was cool and uh... <laughs> and uh, the smallest nebula that I was talking about, the one that's only uh, 0 0.1 or a, or a uh, tenth, or no, yeah, 0 0.1 of a light year, or was that a light year? I don't know. But anyway, the the smallest nebula we've ever found is 3,000 light years away, which we probably a bit. I'm not even gonna explain why that that's why we why anything from human made objects or even our solar system would have to mess with anything the, the, the only possible thing I could think of that could influence something that far away is gravity and you'd it'd be so slight from that distance that you know you probably you probably won't even notice it actually like we probably won't even be able to detect gravity from stuff that far away oh well, you can but it'd have to be a pretty big black hole anyway so I'm just ranting about how stupid some of this stuff is. You know, theories, uh, you know, if there's an end of the weird uh, world theory you hear, if it's been around for more than 50 years, it's probably trash. And and any any new and any fake news website on the on the uh, uh, on the 
social media can uh, write NAS confirms and they can write up some kind of fake document from some uh, uh, pretend scientist that isn't even real saying how it is. I mean, I mean, and the first thing I brought up in this video, you know, about that this happened once before back in uh, 2015. It, it's just bullcrap. And really, even if it does matter, it, it won't affect us that much. The worst thing that could happen is, is, is stuff impacting Earth. And also, if we, you know, if, if this was going to happen, uh, we would have known about this for a long time. And, you know, the government probably would have built gover uh, gover the government would have built a government. They probably would have built a bunch of bunkers and stuff specifically for, you know, that nebula. You know, we haven't even heard of it. You know, it just pops up randomly in like this in this month. You know, and also, you know, if it, if it was true, it'd be all over the news. You know, if one news station brings it up, that doesn't matter. But if, but if it's all over the news, everybody's talking about it, then it's probably going to happen. That goes with a lot of you know uh, theories and stuff uh, on the internet too about random crap that. Uh, Ha that like happens like scare tactics or what the heck is that or like like saying oh uh, um, there's a nuke in Charleston that's uh, actually a reference from... but you know if there is something like like they're saying oh uh, not too long ago there is a theory there is some kind of scare tactic thing saying that there is a nuke hidden in Charleston or something about Syria b uh, bombing us or something and nobody even knew about it until it passed. And, you know, if something like that was going to happen, or was happening, it'd be all over the news. If it's not on the news, on TV, if, it, if it's not in trusted news sites, not some weird little site that, you, that, you know, that says everything you like, so you instantly believe everything they say, but... I'm talking about news websites like KSL, Fox, the, the the ones you normally see on TV, the ones that are normally talking about the Olympics and stuff, not random theories uh, brought up by some uh, uh, drunken teenager put timing it down and then posting on Wikipedia as a joke. I mean, so you know, and all this stuff, you know, it's I, nothing's a hundred percent. I mean, it is possible, but. The chances of that actually happening, and the fact that there isn't a nebula that close to us, and also that a nebula would have to, and also that a nebula is small enough for the solar system to pass through in 15 days, that nebula would have to be so tiny for that to happen. This isn't even a tenth of, actually, no, hold up, let me go to... Is this? All right, I can't find the Earth simulation, but I'm gonna open up the the uh, habitable zone. All right, so this is Earth, you know, and Jupiter's probably way out here, but this isn't even a tenth of a light year. It was it said it was like like uh three thousand AU, so. Yeah, the biggest nebula, nebula we know of would be about this big. Let's see how big. Yeah, so here's a light year. So it'd probably, it, it'd probably be about this big. And it's not even that... It would take more than 15 days to travel through. Um, Yeah, but anyway. So I was, here I was ranting for 15 minutes... Hopefully, uh, and I know I'm gonna get backlash. There's always people on the and every there's people on the internet where that sink. If you if you disagree with them, you're always wrong. Or, and also, uh, if you if you want to believe that the sun is gonna go dark for 15 days, go nuts. Buy an underground bunker for, for all I care. But you know, for those guys who are actually trying to figure out if this is actually gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It, most like, oh, like 
nothing's 100%. I'm 99% sure it's not going to happen because we we would we would have known about this happening for a long time. I mean, we've known about the eclipse happening. I'm heck, we we know the the exact year that that a solar eclipse will be rendered impossible on Earth because actually the moon moves away from Earth a certain amount of distance each year and in like a couple million or or in like a billion years moon will be too far away to actually see a total solar eclipse. Well, I hope that was uh, helpful for those of you guys trying to figure out what's happened. If you disagree with me, uh, go ahead and say and uh, type in you disagree with me in the comments and post links uh, representing your evidence uh, about whether or not this is going to be uh, rather uh, on trying to prove that this is going to happen. Uh, for those of you guys who just want, wanted to watch a video about me ranting uh, sci about stuff, there you go. And then there's the stuff that everybody says at the end of their video. Like, um, you know, to comment, subscribe, leave a like, and that stuff. You, you, you know the usual. You gotta do it. Just do it. DO IT! Oh! Anyway. And for those of you guys who are actually kind of confused, hopefully I helped you a little bit on this subject. If this is the first you've heard of it, good job. You don't need to hear about it again. If you, you saw the media a lot, you, pro <laughs> you probably would have known. I'm spraying this on my thumb. And uh, that's it for... Uh, I guess this will be called Pigeon Rants. Uh, yeah, Pigeon Rants, where I ran about random crap. But anyway... Uh, what is the date? Oh, it's the 29th. I'm gonna go down and play... I think the new GTA update came out. But anyway, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Vsauce's video where he's talking about what happens if the sun disappears. Uh, what would happen to us? We, you know, first of all, we'd probably, we, yeah, pr we'd probably be screwed. But for the generation, uh, from 20 plus, you know, they'll, they'll probably die of old age. Right before everybody dies. Uh, I should have did a burp alert, but yeah, you know I've said I've been there's I know that you know I've kind of rambling and kind of repeated. It's because you know I didn't really practice this. I mean I just heard about it on the on the ride home and like once before, but you know I started ranting over there in my kitchen while I was uh, cooking. I think I was cooking chicken, and but um. I'm like, you know what? This is going to be make a good video. So I sat down and started repeating what I was saying. This is the third time I've repeated it before because I actually made this video. And then I accidentally uh, stopped, quit, I accidentally deleted it. So this is the third time. And now I'm really tired of the subject. So I will. Do you have any orbits? Huh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Look at the planets. They're going away. They're going away, bud. They're going away. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys next time. And if you guys want me to do a Let's Play on this game, go ahead and put a comment. New Cakes just got on. Good for you. And I will see you guys next time whenever I decide to record again. I should record more often but I get too distracted doing other stuff like playing other video games or spending a, having a fun time with a friend or I'm just too lazy to start recording. But you know how it goes. I've made this intro longer than it needed to be and I'm going to start pulling a page out of Nogla's uh, outro I'm going to say and like always I hope you enjoyed. I think that's what he says at the end. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. I need to quit saying that! I just can keep talking and talking. I'm full of air. I'd make a good politician. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's... That shouldn't be... Yeah, that joke shouldn't be true. But it is. So I hope that I help you with the subject, and I will see you guys next time. I have to force myself to press this button.